So, you may be wondering why do I have this portal and these weird blocks here. If you've seen the April Fool's snapshot 20W14 Infinite, you'll know. Here I have this completely random book. And this portal. I throw the book into the portal. And the portal changes color. Now we have a strange landscape on the other side. With all sorts of weird stuff. Convenient ores. Just it's like this is the convenient dimension for villagers. Wait, that's a different particle. different. This one's even crazier. You can also use the warp command. It's really neat. Oh, look at this! It's like pancakes, except with paint droplets, with occasional fer potted fern towers, and shulkers, and a magma cube that I'm gonna ruthlessly, repetitively punch. Oh, they make a perfect grid up here. We're in the end dimension, except something's off. A couple things that hint that something's horribly wrong. And now we're in what appears to be a very failed desert. with more purple. There are a couple special dimensions like this one. It's a fractal. just gets bigger and bigger. Really cool, actually. Just hope you like sponges. You can go in and out and plummet to your doom like I did earlier. Well, it appears I've experienced a sudden crash. So it just appeared as a black screen for you, and now I have to full size it. Sorry about this.
It's a sudden crash. This one's a neat one. Just looks normal. Until you'll s you see this, or you may have seen in the distance, a block might have been misplaced. It only gets worse and worse. It goes out about to 10k and then it crashes your game. So I think I'll show you just how much it goes out. You can barely even tell it's a Minecraft world anymore. <laughs> And now we have this world. They're pretty much just in a spotlight and it's pretty much a sky block. Except sheep glow for some weird reason. We'll just try something. No, cows don't glow. These are just glow in the dark sheep. Doesn't matter their color. It's just weird. Only the sheep are glow in the dark. You may be thinking. Oh, if this is the case, I could just light up the dark areas with torches. That's where you'd be wrong. Torches do no help. The only light you'll get is from these mysterious sheep and torch particles. I don't know why the sheep glow. Now you may be thinking, oh, this is just an ordinary Minecraft world. No darkness, no strange decay. And you'd be wrong again because there are zones of like irradiated things. Irradiated zones is what I'd call them. Now this world is weird. It's just got a whole bunch of holes in it. Holes here, holes there, holes there, holes there, holes there, holes there, holes there. And then this world has pillars in it, and you better be good at landing in water, or be lucky. Because there's a gap in between these pillars and land, and you could spawn on one, which won't be very pleasant. Now, two rooms, and... I'm on top of them. So there. He 
here, the world is just rooms. Rooms, it rooms, it rooms. Now here, this world is just colors. This world, one half is blue, one half is red. Except water isn't affected by the red half, which makes me angry. And the fact that a lake, a lake, can break the bedrock wall also makes me angry. That wall is supposed to be impassable. I feel like I'm in the dimension of red velvet cake. Like, building out of red velvet cake. Everything's out of red velvet cake. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Now this world, you better be prepared at doing a, a truckload of parkour for no good reason. Now, on to the randomly generated worlds again. The ones that crashed me last time. <sighs> Can't even bother to get the elytra in this. This is intense on my computer. Let's just go away. And I thought the Ender Dragon head was solid. Well, it's clear that these chunks are refusing to load, so. I think I'll end this off now. Like, subscribe, show off your friends, and hit the notification bell. Bye. Thanks for watching.